Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I wanted to continue our journey of going around to the parks for the first time in the year 2022. We're going to ride some rides and get something to eat at my favorite quick service location and just talk about what's to come and what to expect for the new year 2022 here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. As soon as we walk in, the first thing I notice is Divine, and I am so excited to see her back. I don't know if you guys can tell, she's blending in pretty well right here, but uh, you'll see her move in a second, and sometimes she can scare people because she just like blends in perfectly. If you plan on visiting the parks actually in the upcoming year 2022, there's a couple of ride closures here at Animal Kingdom that probably will make you a little sad that you're not gonna be able to ride. One being Expedition Everest, that is actually down due to routine maintenance. And the other one is the Primeval World. It's actually gone for good. So we're gonna talk about those a little bit later on, but we're also gonna ride the rides that we can ride today. I am so excited for our day here at Animal Kingdom, and it doesn't look like it's too crowded. We're gonna have to check the wait times before we figure out what we're gonna do first, and the weather is beautiful. Look at that. Nice blue skies, and the tree of life is just as amazing as always. Since Expedition Everest is closed for a refurbishment, I would assume that it's gonna increase the wait times for all the other attractions, because Expedition Everest is like a very popular attraction. In my opinion, I think it's my favorite attraction here at Animal Kingdom. I love Flight of Passage, but Expedition Everest has my heart. <laughs> Let's take a look at the wait times, and there's not many attractions at Animal Kingdom. Avatar Flight of Passage is 70 minutes. Navi River Journey is 60 minutes. It's tough to be a bug is 10 minutes. Kilimanjaro Safari is only 15 minutes. Wow, that's actually a really low wait time. Cali River Rapids, 25 minutes. Dinosaur, 25 minutes. And of course, Expedition Everest is closed. Wow, those wait times are extremely low. So I'm guessing today is a very slow day, but on a busy day, I'm sure they gotta be super high. Like I said, cause they have to make up for Expedition Everest. And I checked and you can get a Lightning Lane for Flight of Passage right now. It costs $14 just for that alone. $14 just to ride uh, Flight of Passage and it's at six o'clock at night. So to me, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. But I think that's where we're gonna start off our day is head down to Pandora and the Flight of Passage area and just kind of see what's going on down there. I love just walking around the Valley of Mora. I mean, it'd be fun to ride the rides too, but like you've seen, they're the longest waits actually, 65 minutes and 70 minutes. So I think we're gonna see what they're like. Maybe they might go down. I do wanna ride Cali River Rapids later, but that I'm gonna actually get soaking wet. So I don't wanna do that right away because I don't wanna be walking around the park like a soggy bottom boy. It looks like the wait time for Flight of Passage went down 20 minutes since we saw it on that screen there. So maybe we'll scope out the situation. All right, I made the decision to hop in the standby line for Flight of Passage. I, I feel like today's the day I've been wanting to ride Flight of Passage and it said 60 minutes, so it's gonna be interesting to see actually how long it takes for us to get up there. So I'll let you know when we do. I love the queue here because you get to stare at the back side of the mountains. And did you know that there's a bunch of banshees up there? Like you can see them in the rookeries. They're just really tiny and hard to see. I can see one right here actually. And it's really awesome. It's a really nice touch that they add to it. Okay, it was pretty accurate. Yay! And I'm sorry, I don't have a Disney mask. So I'm wearing my Jurassic Park mask. And I kind of feel like it fits in here at Animal Kingdom. So just about an hour and now we're here. Awesome. I feel like this is when the wait time stops because this is when the experience begins. Cheating GMR Stand still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. It took about 60 minutes to get to this point and once you're in this room, I feel like it takes another 15 minutes before you actually get on the attraction. Now we gotta get on our Banshee here. Oh boy, here we go. 
is such an awesome ride. And like I said, I love this ride, but Expedition Everest is still my favorite ride at Animal Kingdom. And it took me just about an hour, but then it took us like 15 minutes, like once the pre-show actually started. I feel like the pre-show is such a long show. It might be the longest pre-show out of any like theme park ride. And since we're still over in Pandora, I think we're gonna get lunch right here at Saltuli Canteen. This is one of my all-time favorite quick service locations, and I don't wanna leave and come back, so might as well eat lunch now. I can give you my top three quick services all over Walt Disney World right now. Saltuli Canteen is definitely one of them, the Polite Pig, and also French Quarter. I feel like those three I can eat all day, every day, and they're so unique. You know what I mean? For quick service, you're usually seeing like burgers, hot dogs, and stuff like that. This is honestly a unique dining experience for quick service, and I love it. I've already placed my mobile order and I created my own saltuli bowl and I got a combination of slow roasted sliced grilled beef, chopped wood grilled chicken, red pepper and sweet potato hash and I didn't pick the sauce. I'm not a big fan of the sauce but if I did I would probably get the charred onion vinaigrette. Actually I might get the charred onion vinaigrette on the side just so I can try it. It cost me $18 for the combination bowl and it's a pretty big portion. Wait till I show you. And since we're over here and we're gonna wait, maybe we'll see if Navi River goes down because I would ride Navi River, but I don't think it's worth waiting over an hour. Actually, I'm not even sure if I think I would wait 30 or 40 minutes. I mean, it's a good ride and if you've never done it before, then you have to do it, but it's not something I would wanna wait a long time for. Look at how they prepare the chicken and the roast beef. Doesn't that just look appetizing? How you doing? It's some good stuff right there. That chicken is phenomenal. I hope I get the chicken that he's taking off the grill right now. And here it is. The roast beef and chicken combination with the red potato hash. I didn't get the slaw, but I did get the boba balls. And then here is the onion vinaigrette. And I am so excited. I get this all the time. And I'm sure you guys have seen other videos, but it is that good. It is so, so good. And when I said I was going to come to Animal Kingdom today, I was like, you know what? I can go for a little saltuli canteen. We're going to hop right on in and we're going to grab some of this red potato and pepper hash. We're going to grab some grilled chicken, a little bit of everything on one bite. Oh, oh yeah, we'll do the roast beef separate. Here we go. This is the way. Oh my lord, it is so good. Now we're gonna grab some roast beef. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of these bobo balls in here. I don't know why I don't get it without them. You can customize it. So like I said, it usually comes with a slaw. I asked for none of that, but I kept the bobo balls. I guess they look good for like pictures, but I kind of don't like them in my food. It has a weird texture to it. Now I'm gonna try a little bit of that uh, vinaigrette here. Gotta get a little of the sauce, a little bit of the potatoes, a little bit of all of it. I keep on saying a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. This sauce is good. I could just pour some on there actually. I will say this all the time. The thing that makes this amazing is the red potato hash. It is just that good. Well, that did the trick. And now I think we're gonna make our way on to Africa. Let me know in the comments what you like to eat at Saltuli Canteen. I know that the cheeseburger pods are very popular, but I've never actually had them. I always got to get the red potato hash. And the thing is, is when you like something a lot, it's hard to order something that you've never had before because you like that. Like, I was craving the red potato hash and grilled chicken. That's like one of the main reasons I came to Animal Kingdom today. So I didn't want to switch it up much, you know what I mean? One of the things I'm excited for in 2022 is the return of some of the shows here at Animal Kingdom. We got Festival of the Lion King back, but it's not the full show. And also I wanna see the new Finding Nemo show that they actually announced. That's gonna be amazing. And I think they're gonna plan on bringing it out in 2022. I really believe Animal Kingdom is the best park when it comes to entertainment and live shows and I would love to see all of it come back. I hear that they actually showed the citizens of Hollywood on the Run Disney because they did the marathon week this week. They were cheering on the runners for Run Disney so that's a good sign that maybe they might be coming back to Hollywood Studios. So a lot of entertainment coming back in 22, uh, 2022 is the thing I'm looking forward to a lot because I do miss it dearly. 
Now we're gonna head on over to Kilimanjaro Safaris and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a walk-on. There is no wait for this right now. The best time to come to the parks, uh, well, the best time to come to Animal Kingdom is after two o'clock because I feel like everybody comes and they actually like do all of the uh, big rides and then they leave, they hop to another park. So after two o'clock, there's always standby waits with like 10 minutes and walk-ons and it's a lot better. This ride is actually one of the few rides at Animal Kingdom where masks are optional. So you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. And it was 100% a walk-on. We're walking right onto the attraction. Look at how awesome this is. Kind of just walking right down in there. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Here comes our safari vehicle. It looks like we're getting Simba 1. Oh. oh, never mind. There it goes. Looks like we're going to get Simba 1. <laughs> I got the back row all to myself, and we're going. <laughs> maybe we'll see a Bontabak, or maybe we'll see a rhinoceros. Sometimes I forget that a rhino's full name is a rhinoceros because I'm just so used to calling them rhinos. Uh, these are Nile crocodile. Nile crocodile are the largest species of crocodilian here in Africa. They grow to an average of 16 feet long. It's the same size as the average height of a giraffe. A group of crocodile is called a congregation. Over here on the right hand side, those animals of the large horns are in holy cattle. And coli cattle were thought to be symbols of wealth from the Watisi tribe. That's the tribe that domesticated them, so they're also called Watisi cattle. They have a large honeycomb button structure in their horns to help regulate their blood flow to maintain their body temperature. That's kind of like those in air conditioning. Over here on the left hand side, actually pretty close to us and pretty easily seen. Oh, right now, these are African wild dogs. Also called African painted dogs. They get their name for their coat color. We are not going to whistle at any of the animals. Oh, we got a baby giraffe. These Look are at that. Vista on the right, left and right. The little beasts are migratory. They travel in herds of 1.5 million individuals, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 miles each year during what's called the Great Migration. Huh? That mi <laughs> Just a giraffe passing by here. The second one that's basically parallel with the truck here, that is actually the zebra foal. We're going over the bridge and it doesn't make that sound anymore. It used to make like a creaking sound like we're about to fall. I loved it so much. I wish they'd bring that back. Oh, look at that sleeping lion right there. Oh, there's another one down there too. I never see them on the outside like that. Those are ostrich eggs, and there's a bontabak laying down over there as well. A bontabak? Ooh, an ostrich, too. Oh, boy. For the most part, the safari is a hit or miss attraction. The animals have, like, the right of way, so Disney can't control the animals. So if you don't get to see a lot of the animals, uh, there's nothing they can do about it. Today, I kind of feel like it was a little bit of a miss. There wasn't many animals out. They were actually tucked away. We got to see some giraffes. Uh, but no rhinos or rhinoceroses, 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 but we didn't get to see many of those and uh, maybe next time. It's always good to come in the evening though, I feel like it's feeding time. Rhinoceros, rhinoceroses. <laughs> now we're going to continue our lap around and we're going to head towards Asia from Pandora to Africa and now Asia. I was just walking by this sign right here and wait till you see the wait times for Flight of Passage in Navi River. I was kind of a little shocked. Uh, right now I think it's almost 5 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock and Avatar Flight of Passage is 55 minutes, Navi River 70. Isn't that insane? Wow, that kind of blew my mind there. <laughs> I can't believe that Flight of Passage is such of a lower wait time than Navi River Journey. I would never wait 70 minutes for Navi River Journey. And I probably would never buy the Genie Plus here, like the $15, especially with Expedition Everest closed. I mean, if I was gonna spend any money, it would be just to buy the Flight of Passage Lightning Lane because you could do all the other attractions in the same time as it takes to wait for Flight of Passage. 
And now it's time for Cali River Rapids. I seen on the uh, wait time board that it was only a five minute wait, so we're just gonna be able to walk on that. But first we need to stop and get ourselves a plastic bag. I don't want to get the camera wet and I want to film on the ride so I can show you guys. So I grabbed a little plastic bag and at the last second I'm going to put the camera in the bag so it doesn't get wet. But I might get wet. And look at that. Five minutes. A nice walk on. So we waited 60 minutes to ride Flight of Passage. We walked on Kilimanjaro Safaris and now we are walking on Cali River Rapids. Two walk-ons and one 60 minute wait. <laughs> And also, all riders must wear shoes. Don't try to take your shoes off so you can save them from getting wet. They don't allow it here. Oh boy, I really hope I don't get too wet. I mean, I know I might get a little bit wet, but I don't want to get soaked. I should have brought a Universal Studios poncho. One! One, that's 18. They used to have like a poncho here where you could put your stuff in there and it wouldn't get wet, but they took it away. So that's why I brought this and it's gonna work perfectly. Sometimes you maybe you could put it on your head But I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's actually very dangerous. Do not do that. Don't do it Oh, we're coming up here One of us is gonna get wet only one only one side of the boat gets wet and it's probably gonna be me Look at the crocodiles the elephants the lions and then also, you can see a lion or a tiger's face in the rock work right here straight ahead. Let me know if you guys can see that. It is really awesome, isn't it? It's kind of like a hidden Mickey, but it's a hidden Lion King. Oh, here we go. We're heading in. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got ponchos. You're going to get wet. Not me. Whenever you come to the drop up here, if you are like facing the drop, it is you that is gonna get wet, unless it turns last second. But I'm hoping that, like I said, it's not gonna be me. Ooh, ooh, a little rocky, whoa. <laughs> a nice view of Expedition Everest that's currently not working. All right, here it comes, the moment of truth. Got to get the bag ready. No, no, no. Keep spinning. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh no. No. Ah! Oh, the bag. Woo! Oh, oh, my phone. It was me. <laughs> the bag didn't help either. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, boy. <laughs> Coming in hot. Oh, they shut off the water. Oh, no, they did it. Ah! 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 Oh, watch out now, duck. Duck! 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my phone. <laughs> oh, someone's up there using the elephants. Ah! Well, oh. look at that. I see you up there. I know who did that. As we're getting off the ride, look, there's nobody getting on. <laughs> I'm not too sure if there's water in the mic or not, so if this sounds funny or if you can't hear me at all, you probably know why. And usually I go and ride Expedition Everest after riding this so I can dry off. But I don't know what to do. There's not really a dry off ride here. I'm gonna have to just shake my glasses. I'm gonna have to shake them to get all the water droplets off. I can't use any of my clothes to wipe them because they're soaking wet. Like, <laughs> this is soaked. I could string out water. Now it is my turn to actually get people wet with the elephants here. You have to line it up perfectly. Any second now. Here we go. <laughs> a lot of theme parks actually charge to actually use like the water gun effects on water rides but here at disney it's fair game you just step right up press the green button and uh, try to time it right and there you go 
Look at all the people standing over here by Expedition Everest. I'm sure a lot of people don't know that it's temporarily closed and they're probably coming over just to maybe get a look at Expedition Everest. I mean, it's still nice to come over and get photos, but they've got some games set up in front. They've got some ring toss and it looks like they got Connect Four. At least they're making it fun. And like I mentioned before, I'd be so excited to see the Finding Nemo, the musical, reopen. And especially with its new like show, Disney did announce that they're actually bringing it back. And it's going to be a brand new show. So it's going to be fun. I mean, I'm excited. This is one of my favorite. I love seeing all the different puppets. And the gigantic bird was my favorite. If you guys watched the, the Finding Nemo, the musical, you know what I'm talking about. When like that 20 foot pelican comes out on stage, it's the coolest thing ever. I hope they keep that. Like, you know what I mean? I hope they bring that back. They said it's going to be a brand new show, so I don't know what's going to, I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe it might not even be like puppets anymore. Look at this. It's like a new parade almost. <laughs> oh, I love it. I said it's like a new parade. Yeah. <laughs> This is the best parade they got going at Animal Kingdom. Now that we've made it over to Dino Land USA, I gotta go see the uh, leftover Primeval World spot. They got, it's all gone. Primeval World is gone. It really did hit its extinction here. There is nothing there. Just a big open spot. But on the other hand, they actually have a good view of like this whole entire mural here. I have never seen these murals like this because usually uh, Primeval World's right here are kind of blocking the view and it looks so nice. When visiting Diggs Country C, the Dino Institute. Wow, that is really, really awesome. I've never noticed those signs there because of that. I read tons of different rumors and speculation of what they're going to actually put over here. But honestly, nobody knows except for the people that are doing it. Nobody knows except for Disney, I guess, and people that are working on the project itself. But let me know what you guys would think it would be like a cool like attraction that they can actually put right here. Maybe another dinosaur one? Or do you think they should actually do a whole like themed area? I mean, there's a lot of possibilities, especially here for Animal Kingdom. It also looks like Dinosaur has a five minute wait, but I don't know if we're gonna have time to ride that today. And also they still have the Christmas decorations up so you get to see Dino all lit up here. Isn't it so pretty? I love the Christmas decorations at Animal Kingdom. I don't know when they're gonna take it down. Today's like January, uh, January 9th. <laughs> this is something new. They have an Encanto stage and I love the Encanto movie. I thought it was so fun and I thought if I was a part of the family, what like magic I would get or what special ability I would have. What would you guys want to like have as a special ability? I would like to have like the power to heal or I would like to have uh, invisibility, super strength. There's a lot of amazing things that I wish I could have, but I like the movie and maybe they might actually bring some Encanto things here at Animal Kingdom. You never know. I mean, they got the stage set up. And now we are back where we started. I thought about sticking around to watch the uh, projections on the Tree of Life or the Tree of Life Awakening, but that's still like a while away. I can't believe how much we got accomplished in a little time. It usually starts to get dark out here in Florida around 536, and it's not even five o'clock yet. That is mind blowing. And now I believe we are done here today. We made a full lap around Animal Kingdom. We got to have lunch. We rode three attractions and I feel like that is amazing. We were only in the park today for three hours. Three hours and we got all of this accomplished. So I'm very happy with the day. Like it was a fun, easy going day. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.